Hello, how are you guys doing? Capital P here with another video. Today we're just gonna have a quick mail day video. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be quick, but we're gonna have us a mail day video. Only two packages, and it's from two people, two companies I break with the most. One from Firehands, one from Cardsway. I just want to do this mail day because some of this stuff will be available, and uh, you know, some of it's pretty cool. So I just wanted to show you guys, and you know, if you're interested in some of this, hit me up. Um, but let's get into it. First, this is a package from Firehand Cards. Was in a break with them. I actually got this Saturday. Today's Monday, so I'm going to do the video today. Um, so I believe I know what's in here. I'm hoping. All right. Yep. All right. So that is what is in here. All righty. So I believe this is going to be a bunch of base. I was in a PYT, a Bowman draft, uh, baseball, and I had I picked the Mariners, and I believe that I didn't get no hits. So went hit list, but uh, I believe they're just the base, so I'm not going to get in that. But this is what I wanted to show is also in a select random teams half case. And I got the Broncos, and I, we got a real nice hit with the Broncos. So let's see what we got here. All right, I have some. So they put all the base in here. So we got some Drew Locks, base, Vaughn Miller, Bradley Chubb, Noah Fant rookie, another Drew Lock, Bradley Chubb, and then a Peyton Manning base. So out of that, two Drew Lock base. Then we got us a Peyton Manning orange. <clears throat> 46 out of 49. Nice short print there. Also a Bradley Chubb white die cut. I believe these are out of 35. And then the big hit, which you guys just see it here. Bow Drew Lock RPA. Look at that patch. Three color, beautiful gold and that is out of 10 oh the first one out of 10 i forgot okay the very first one when they started producing them this was the first one they came up with a beautiful card there on the drew lock man that's that's beautiful i was waiting for this card to come in hopefully he continues his success he uh you know ended the season with last year <clears throat> one out of ten so beautiful there broncos came through and then the chub was 18 out of 35 all right, so that's the fire hand package, just quick and simple. Next, we have one from Cards Away Breaks. As you can see there, big package, two day priority. So let's see what's in this bad boy. I think I know some of it, but I don't know all of it. I know at least one of the items. So as you know, they run those treasure chests type things so we can win big prizes. And that's how I won my case of flawless a uh, month or two ago was in another one this time i did not hit i did not win it it was a patrick mahomes of uh, bronze prism rookie autographed uh, was the grand prize did not win that but i got spot 11 which empty box which is still pretty decent because i did get two hobby boxes of tops baseball so for winning spot 11 not getting the grand prize i mean that's a over you know that's a few thousand dollar car that mahomes still nice to get two of these so this is something i'll probably break make videos off camera or not off camera but we'll only really post the videos if i hit something big you know out of regular hobby probably just getting that relic but you just never know all right then we got some other breaks i was in that's the lakers all right let's just see what's in this bad boy All right, but yeah, so it wasn't bad. Um, you know, that's that's about a hundred and forty dollar value. It was a hundred fiftieth spot, and you know, and plus what I get out of that, we'll see if it makes up the remaining value. So we had the Bucks and Bengals in a break, obviously. Select. I don't think I hit anything big. Actually, it did hit this. It was a random draw course. You know, uh, XRCs they random draw them. And I happen to get wide receiver two, XRC Prism Redemption. So we'll see who that is, Judy. Who? Who's it gonna be? All right. I also had a uh, Warriors in a team break. Um, mixer didn't hit anything but this Kai Bowman. So nothing crazy there. Although we did get the XRC. Alright, 
next one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, another mixer, we have the Hornets. So there's going to be some bass here. Um, had the Hornets and the Kings in one break. So some of our highlights, Terry Rozier. We did hit this nice Cody Martin out of Absolute Tools of the Trade out of 199 and also 11 out of 25 from, what was that, certified, Pink Camo. So no Miles Bridges, but we did get us some Cody Martin and a Buddy Healed out of it as well. <clears throat> so not bad. One of Kings and the Hornets. No, nothing huge, but um, you know, got something. Hopefully, I mean, Buddy Healed what won the three-point contest. And, um, right, did he? Oh, now I might be m most misspeaking. Oh, he was in it. Okay. So here's some stuff I'm going to show you. Okay, we'll save that actually for last. This one, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so yeah, they sent a bunch of stuff. All right, so this was the Texans in a mixer. You know, Texans don't have much as far as rookies this year. Um, did get a... The Sean Watson printing plate, though, no major hit, but plates and patches was in the mixer. And we did get us a Watson, so that's a pretty cool card there. Luminance. And that is the magenta. And then um, we also had the Broncos in select again with them. I don't think any major hits with them, but we did get a Fant, Tricolor, Von Miller, Drew Lock, Hollow, Silver. I wanna. Bila was in one too. She got. She went in and grabbed her a spot. She got the Lions, but Lions did not hit anything major. But she did get a couple nice, nice uh, blue prism. Seventy-three out of seventy-five on the Barry Sanders, Kenny Galladay, blue power. One twelve out of one forty-nine. Some more Lakers base. So continue with the Lakers spot. They get a Talon Horton Tucker out of ninety-nine. Blue out of certified Le LeBron James that Astro, Astro, and then the Taylor Horton Tucker Hollow out of Optic, and then the big hits from the put that there, the biggest hit from the Lakers in that mixer got us a Demarcus Cousins, which who I believe is no longer with them, but my first ever right here, wow, one on one Shaq out of Leaf. Autograph, 2019 leaf. Of course, no uh, logo on the jersey, but still, it is it is his signature uh, sticker signature. Ultimate Sports signatures. Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq Diesel. Look at the young Shaq right there. One of one as well. So this is probably something. Since I have no Shaq, I'll keep in my collection. This is out of the Leaf Best of box. You know, it's their buyback product for basketball. They happen to throw in their own product, which is a it's a Leaf product, a Shaq, because they, they do anything. I mean, you know, Panini items, Upper Deck, I mean, whatever, old school 90s stuff, all the companies. But for this instance, they included their own. It happened to be Shaq, and I had the Lakers, so came to me. So there you guys have it. That is my mail day. Not much more to it. Um... You know, a lot of this stuff just hit me up. You know, Instagram will be available. I can't do auctions for a while just because of my schedule at work and home. Um, but you just we'll see what happens with these tops series one baseball hobby boxes as well. I'll open these off up, and like I said, probably only really post if I hit anything big. You know, I'm not gonna waste your guys' time with these. A lot of cards to get through. I don't know if too many people want to see a lot of that. But yeah, there you guys have a nice little mail day. A lot of stuff to sort through and put away. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a follow-up uh, to the video of the two boxes of Tops Series 1 2020 Baseball. I went ahead and ripped them, two bad boys. Nothing crazy, but just so you guys know, I will just show you some of the highlights of what we pulled. So first, just some manners PC here. The manners bigger cards I decided to keep. The rookies, uh, Griffey insert. Two Kyle Lewis's and Austin Nola's. The base, I uh, don't really care about that. So kept those manners cards. Our two home run challenge cards. 
Nolan Arenado and Christian Yelich. So those are two home run challenge cards. Some of the inserts I decided to keep. You know, I don't keep every insert, but some of the the better ones. I don't even know if they're better, but just the ones I decided that were worth it. There's a little skim through. Some rookie cups, those league leaders, team cards, stuff like that. The foil. Some of the old school inserts. I mean, Mike Trout's just base, but anything Mike Trout. I'll just keep. A little die cut, Roger Clemens, the war card. Walker Bueller. All right, um, let's do the rookies. So this, these aren't the top rookies, but I have a separate pile for that. But these are just, you know, how much rookies you're going to accumulate just open in two boxes. So we got a nice variety of guys. You know, who knows? One of these guys may break out later, a couple of them. But always keep the rookies. Always stash these. You just never know. How many guys have we heard of, you know, years past? You pull it, you think, ah, whatever. You're not happy. You want a bigger name. A year or two later, they break out, and you're just glad you stashed it. So, these bad boys just going to be staying stashed. A little skim through right there. All right. And then, on to the nicer stuff. Um, let's do our hits, because the hits weren't nothing amazing. But we got us uh, Jin Ryu, uh, game used for the Dodgers. And this one, it made me laugh, made me chuckle a little bit. It's postseason 2019, so they're promoting all that game used and all that. Oh, all right, postseason. And then it says, item is not from the 2019 postseason. It is numbered. And then it says, uh, it's not from any specific game event or season. So why even promote it? Why even, you know, just make it a, a regular card like this, then why even put that on there? Isn't that sort of the point? Get your hopes up. Maybe you're getting a postseason, you know, piece of uh, mem memorabilia, and it's just, it's regular. It's like, why why even promote that? Why why even say anything about it? But anyways, there's that. And then some of our top rookies uh, numbered the gold out of 2020. I haven't sleeved anything up yet. Um, after this video, I will. It's nice sometimes not doing a video and just relaxing and, you know, taking your time and going through stuff. And then I think a uh, nice short print here. Fernando Tatis Rookie Cup. So I looked it up. It is a short print. As you can see there, uh, 84 on the code. So nice Tatis short print. One of our better hits. Um, and then our Chrome cards. And I got one last thing to show you after this, which is funny. So nice Jordan there. Trent Grisham. Then a Ro Robel Garcia Rookie. Tatis. Judge. Yell it. So our Chrome cards weren't bad. Pretty nice two packs. Of Chrome. All right, so what would have been our biggest hit is a Mr. Aquino rookie short print variation, 84 as well. But as you guys may notice right there, it is crimped. It is crimped, so it got cut up in a uh, packaging. And this came out of box two, so this box right here is where it happened. Uh, no other card that I've seen, even base, is like this. What's funny is, you know, this is like I said, this is probably my biggest card, and uh, which you guys don't know. I put it on Instagram, so if you don't follow me, you, you don't know. But over the weekend, Bila bought me a blaster of Heritage One baseball, or Heritage One, just Heritage baseball, 2020 Heritage. So here's the receipt, as you can see, MLB cards, just one, one box right there, right? <clears throat> well. You know, this is our blaster. You know, we did, I don't know if we did decent or not. But this is what our box was looking like. You know, no hit or anything, nothing guaranteed. So, you know, maybe just a pretty average box, whatever, run of the mill. Well, if you noticed on here, if you guys know these blasters, you get uh, the tattoos are 1 in 700, uh, 729 packs. And they even put it on here. They're exclusive to these blasters to retail. So they're, you know, a little bit on the rare side. Well, we hit one. And I looked it up on eBay. It's one of the better ones. I was going for the most money. Otani and Mike Trout tattoo. And when I first, I, I did it off camera, of course. I just got home ripping it. And I pulled it. I didn't think nothing of it. I thought when I seen the tattoo on there, I thought 
every blaster included in them. I thought half, you know, I thought, well, whatever, you know, that's just the way they're doing it. Sort of weird, but okay. Then, um, you know, at, going through the cards afterwards, I'm like, let me just look what these are going for. And I seen it. I was like, oh, wow, this is big money. And then I was like, well, let me, you know, I see half. So I thought maybe mine was more of rare insert. And I searched like crimped, half tattoo at all, you know, all those keywords, buzzwords, and nothing came up. So I figured, you know, it's the packaging then, like it, it got crimped as well. And I put it on Instagram, put a, not a poll, but put a question out. And yeah, everybody's like, it's crimped, got caught up. So I got to send this in to Tops. You know, what are the odds? Never happened before in my life until a uh, Saturday. So I'm going to send this in, hopefully get a replacement. And now, you know, not a day, uh, two days later, like I said, this has never happened before once. And now two days later, another one on probably the best card of my break as well. A queen owner got crimped there as well. And trust me, guys, I have no type of crimper or anything in my house. And just to show you, afterwards, I did, you know, I did some detective work and I lined it up. And it is the packaging. It got caught up somehow, as you can see, with the packaging, the wrapper. It lines up pretty perfect. So, yeah, I got, it just got caught up right there. So you can see that. So that's that I know that is a manu uh, manufacturer defect right there. So hopefully Tops will replace it. Probably send them in uh, sometime this week and with this as well cuz since this is the short print. And if you guys, I mean, you know you baseball guys know don't got to explain too much to you, but just a show for some people who, who may not. This is his normal base rookie card, which you'll pull most often and then the variation short print. And the code on the back right there is 69 um, that's for every, you know, even if I pull off a base here, 69 is the normal code. And then what makes it rare is this, the, and then 84, now you can tell the difference. I think there's some that ended in 85 as well. I think the Tatis ended in 84. So we got two nice names for our short prints. Uh, hits were meh. But, you know, not always about the hits. Certain products are not really, like, Prism Basketball is not always about the autos and that. It's about the numbered parallels. Sort of same thing in Series 1, although the hits can be amazing. You get the the right short print can be awesome, especially rookie. So, uh, yeah, basically two days in a row, two baseball openings in a row. I got two crimped cards. So you guys let me know what you think of that. Has that ever happened to you as far as just getting some, you know, miscut crimped cards? First time for me. And it happened like basically back to back days, Saturday and then Monday, not back to back, but basically. But there you guys have it. So that's my recap. Sorry, that was probably longer than the actual um, mail day video. But just to show you guys what I got, what the situation is with everything. But, you know, thank you guys for watching and supporting. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.